Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say to be super productive is start early. If it's just gone about five o'clock in the morning, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my cardio in. First thing I'm gonna do is one of the hardest things I wanna knock out off my list early. Right, here we go. Okay, just after six o'clock and I'm done on the running machine. Okay, another great hack. If you're busy, I'm out of the shower. It's only taken me about 11 minutes. And I've just literally got out the shower, stuck something on my hair, stuck a tracksuit on and a pair of flip-flops. I'll get dressed in a bit, saves you time. So meal prep, really important. Here we go, we've got our first two meals of the day. We've got skier and oats. Uh, skier and blueberries, sorry what I'm talking about. And we've got oats for later. But these have been done last night. I haven't got time to do them this morning. So these are all ready. Here we go. So my third tip is going to be write a to-do list. I love a list. You can cross things off as you do them. Um, you can get little books. You'll know what you've got to do during the day. Write everything down that you need to get through. So tip number four, have a look at that list. See what you've got on it and see what, is, what are the most important things. Do those things first. Prioritise those ones. If there are little things that you miss out at the end or you get too tired, don't worry about it. Get through the most important stuff. First. So my next tip is there will be stuff in your day that takes more of your mental energy. Just stuff you're going to find harder. And you will find as well that there are going to be times of day that you are better at those things. I'm pretty good in the morning. I know that the time I've got now it's kind of like just gone seven o'clock for me between seven and about half eight that is my best time of day and that is when I'm going to get through the things on this list that I find the most challenging mentally other stuff that's a bit easier during the day okay I still need to do it I've still got to get my weight training in <laughs> and stuff like that and I love that but I can put push that further down the day a little bit okay but I'm going to do my college work and work online while my head is still got a bit of um still got a bit, a bit yeah still got more than I can think about now <laughs> still got a bit of mental capacity I don't have a lot to start with while I've still got a bit of that left I want to try and get the, the difficult stuff in so something else to think about when you're trying to be productive is have a look at the things that fill your day but aren't actually really pushing you towards your goals. And I am also a bit guilty of this. I quite like cleaning um, and I can spend quite a lot of time doing it and just doing things like organising tea towels and stuff like that just because I like it to look all nice. But then I think, well, I haven't really done anything. <laughs> so that stuff... I'm going to push that way down the list and really, to be fair, I shouldn't really be bothering with it at all. So have a look at your day. Have a look if there's stuff that's just clutter, just scrolling through your phone, stuff like that. Just try not to do it. Or if you like doing it, if it's a nice kind of relaxation thing for you, put it in somewhere later on in the day. But make sure it's not taking up time that you need to get through stuff that you've got to have happen. Okay, so this is something that's really helped me. When you are working, set a timer on something. If you are sitting down and you think, I've got an hour to do this, in your head, you're going to think, right, I have got an hour and I've got to do this and I just, I've got to do it, I've got to make it happen. And one of the great example of this I had, I had to make someone a birthday cake and occasionally I make cakes, I don't do it so much now. Um, and a cake would take me all day. I would be fiddling about with it. And I got really annoyed with it. And I'm like, do you know what? I've got two hours. I'm going to make this cake. I'm going to decorate it. I mean, granted, I, I bought the cake. <laughs> but I had to decorate it. I had to do all the fondant and stuff like that. And blow me down, I did that sucker in two hours. <laughs> I was like, this is it. And it was actually really good. So give yourself a set deadline. Go, right. I've got an hour to get through this bad boy and just stick to that. It will make you quicker, believe me. Okay, so expanding a bit on the setting a timer, you know, tip or rule that I have as well is when you are trying to get through stuff, 
don't let perfection get in the way of production um don't be don't just don't spend time just going back to the analogy of a cake don't spend too much time making every little bit perfect it's got to be done if it's something like an essay or something that you're writing you can circle back to it later but i have done it i have sat there for like 20 minutes thinking i just i just can't start just sod it just start just just get whatever down whatever babbles out of your mind put it down at least then you've got some content you've got something actual that you can come back but just don't worry too much about the fine details let that look after itself get going get going right when you are working when you are trying to be productive try and have quite a nice calm environment now i've got four dogs <laughs> That's a lot of dogs, that's a lot, that's too, way too many dogs, I've wait, uh, but they are beautiful, I do love them, they're my babies. But I try not to have them in the office, because they're up and down, they're barking, they're doing stuff there, and it just annoys me. So I'm trying to keep it a nice, calm environment. Again, I've got my office, and I don't have a lot on my desk. I don't like a lot on my desk. I want it calm. I've got like a little lampy thing, like one of those, what do they call them? It's not a lava lamp, it's kind of a colour changing lamp. I've got my smelly stick thing, so it smells nice. It's a nice calm environment and I want to be in here and I want to work. And try and get yourself into that nice environment. It's your little place where you can work. You can just have some calm and some peace and you can get on with your stuff. All right, so my last tip for now, and this, again, is something that I've been guilty of, is set yourself a realistic finishing point for the day. So know what you've got to do for the day and know when you finish and give yourself some time at the end of the day or the end of your tasks just to, like, have a bit of a break. Um, I feel a lot better if I, if I can get through stuff and I can finish. Because what I used to do is I just used to go, oh, let's see how much I can do. And I would just keep going and going and I'd just get annoyed and I, it wouldn't be very good. And I, I couldn't really draw a line under anything. So if, say, you're you're working on your college work or something like that, say, I want my aim for today is to get through this module or do X amount of questions. Once I've done them, if I've got through them a bit quicker brilliant i'm going to say that's done and i'm going to move on so set yourself a realistic goal set yourself a deadline and then you can feel that you've achieved you'll feel good in your head and you know you can move on so i really hope that you've had some value out of a few of those tips if you've enjoyed this video please do give me a like and a subscribe because that really helps me and i'm trying to do my best to sort of like improve the world and make things a happier place and do these little YouTube videos. I, I appreciate everyone that's watching. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.